everyone starts debugging with print. I did it, you did it, we all did it. But at some point, print statements can make your code messy, slow you down, and hide a real bug. So today, I'll show you a better way to do it in PyCharm. Because I'm using a PyCharm code editor, it has specifics and some advantages. If you're using Visual Studio Code, then there is some differences. If I have a list A that has elements 1, 2, 0, and 3, and I have an empty list, and I want to fill this list with elements from A, but I want them to divide a number 1 to make a fraction of them. So I want B dot append and divide 1 with I. Now you know that there will be problem when I try to divide with 0. But let's print B. When I try to run this, as you can see, there is some problem. So how to find where is the problem? In PyCharm, you simply click on the line that you think is the problem. I think it's the fourth line, so I will click it. And as you can see, there's some red outline on the whole line. You can put as many red dots as you want, and they are actually called breakpoints. When I run my program in debugging mode, the code will stop at the breaking points and show you the results. In my case, I will only have one. To run your program in debugging mode, you need to run this bug here, or write Shift F10, I mean Shift F9. When I run this, as you can see, there are some special variables here. This represents the first element of an array A, I mean list A. These are a built-ins special variable, I will show you that in a minute. And here is a list A that has four elements, they're all represented here, and also it prints here the length of your list. But if I click it, I can see that in detail. At zero position, I have an integer value 1. At first position, I have an integer value 2, and so on. Also, I have a special variable len that shows me the length of my list A. But I will hide this. Also, I have an empty list B. As you can see, it has a length 0. And I have a regular variable i that at first has a value 1. Why 1? Because it's the first element from my A list. And I have special variables. In previous video, I showed you when I print globals, it prints all of these variables because they are built in whenever you create a new script. They are default for every script. But that's not the main topic today. The main topic is to show you how this works and how to debug your code. Now, the program will stop on your breakpoint. But if you want to resume the code, you have to click this resume program or click F9. Let's run this. As you can see, now B has one element. And at the zero position, it is a floating element with value 1. I can resume code once more. As you can see, now I have another element, 0 0.5. And when I run it the third time, I don't have any element because my program returned an exception. Exception is zero division. So now I know there is some problem when I try to divide one with the elements from A, there is a zero division problem. This is a banal example and you could already find it without debugging, but imagine if you had a very big code, then this debugging could be very useful. And when I try to resume it again, my code will break, as you can see, and it returns zero division error division by zero. And now I can fix my code, and I don't need this red dot anymore. And when I run it now, it works perfectly fine. If you enjoyed this video, check out my full Python course on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. See you next time.